Welcome to the Empire, buddy. This is Rampant, and welcome back to my Kingdom of Jerusalem campaign for the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod for the Total War. We're going to continue with the from last time, where at this point in time, we have now destroyed the forces of the Ayyubids, and we've now claimed most of Arabia at this point in time. Still to deal with the Pretenders. Uh, they're just, like, chilling right here. There's, like, nothing left. Uh, what's going on here? Why is this flashing? I can found an empire! I can become the Empire of Outremer! Ah, hell fucking yeah! There we go. So now we are now an empire, proper empire. Let's see. Injection loyalty secured. I want to see where that popped up with the decision of that. Founding an empire. Faction rank has increased to empire rank, denoting the stacking of your faction as a great power. Fucking love it. So now that mainly pops up uh, around. Yep, faction rank empire. That's specifically do, but no, it's cool. We are now the Empire of Outruma properly now. Love that. Um, Imperium's still doing well. We'll have to keep trying to have that go up. But yeah, basically. So for right now, what I need to do is uh, so for here, I am down. Yeah, a swordsman. I'll have to grab another one um, at some point, which I'll probably do once we are either. I can just root somebody around here, or we can have you guys turn back around in a second. This area we need to just start trying to consolidate because I know for right now, basically. Um, I want to finish the rest of Arabia, and so what we're going to be doing for right now is I know at the moment still trying to get this area to be a bit happier, and I'm going to be starting a war up again with the Abbasid Caliphate now at this point in time. Also, what's the debuff for... Oh, God. So this is basically the, the, the equivalent of me taking um, Rome uh, with the Catholic factions, but now with the Muslim factions. So everyone's going to hate me, and also the public order penalties from that is even worse. So we're definitely going to have to focus on consolidating our territories now, because these areas are going to be very upset. I know, like, Mecca over here right now, we're going to be having you get the uh, Basilica, because we have to get a lot of Catholic uh, influence around here. So you guys will be doing that. And I think for right now, we're actually going to be slowly but surely starting to use... Actually, now that I just realized it, I should probably... Let's see. What religion are you guys again? Because that is a good point. You guys might actually start getting pissy. Uh, yeah, because I think you guys are going to start hating me. Let's see. So, you're Eastern Christianity, so you should be fine. You should be fine. Yeah, you guys are going to be pissed. So, yeah, because I know you guys are probably going to want to jump on in here and attack us. Yeah, I, I should start. I'm going to make another army over here. Because at this point in time right now, I'm a little worried about that. Let's see, let's reinstate a legacy. Fist of the Father. Um, this army here, let's see. So I technically have an army that is supposed to be... So we've got... This is my um, Bulein army. I've got my Hospitaller army over here. I've got... This is my uh, Templar army over here. You are technically the uh, Lazarus army. Which slowly but surely we switched over to what we needed to be. So we've got that, that, and that. Technically, I could make either another Hospitaller or a Templar army. Um, I think if I'm currently in uh, Cairo. So if we make another one. I'll, I think you guys have the Hospitallers around here from currently. Yes, you do. So I'll go with a Hospitaller army. Yeah, let's go with that. So let's reinstate a legacy. I'll start making an army over here. Make another Hospitaller army. So you over here. And then let's have you start recruiting some guys. I would like to have more of these. I really do need to get more of the... Because it's... Eh. It's this building right here that increases the order cap. I don't know if it's just like... There's an order cap per um, order type. Or... So if I, I, I get like one more increase, does it make it so I have one more Templar, one more Hospital, one more Lazarus unit? Or is it just one more total? Because I don't know. Uh, but I do need to get more of these order castles in some areas. But for right now, let's get some order spearmen, get some of you guys, and then some crossbows. We'll get some basic stuff around here. And for now, we'll have to use the mounted sergeants um, at the moment. I am about to get the, this research finished up. 25 turns, we finish this, and we will then be able to upgrade our units. So even if we don't have the highest tier quality of them, um, I will be able to have it so we just have upgraded armor for all of them, which will be great. Building wise, uh, that's level three. Can't do anything more there. This is level two, so I will upgrade that. Cowshed here. Yeah, you guys are fine on food right now. Yes, you are. 
And then this is level two here for you guys, I think. For the most part right now, you guys are actually doing yeah, way better with food now. So let's keep upgrading these for right now. Uh, and then the wheat farm that was in Jerusalem as well. Yeah, so for the most part right now, we really need to make sure we're focusing more on conversion. Because with this now, we're gonna be pissed we're gonna be pissing off so many people if we have that uh right now. So we really need to focus more on consolidation and conversion the best we can. And for the most part right now, yeah, we have to really build up what we have around here. And then I would like to have it so we focus on taking the rest of Arabia first. If we're gonna do anything, we should do that. Cause I don't want to expand to the east just yet. I want to make sure that we consolidate Arabia first, then we can go east. All right, they're throwing themselves away here. Uh, I think we just take the auto resolve with this. I don't think we have to worry too much about that. If we lose some of the infantry, we can, we're already going to have to recruit more units anyway, so I think that's fine. Let's see. So we did lose a spearman, so we have to get a spearman, and we have to get a swordsman now for that. So that is okay, because at this point in time, we really need to make sure that we're trying to just focus on consolidation. Um, I appreciate that I have my allies are doing more now. So I can probably be safe to do this. Also, I did have another um, governor's position, so I put one over here. Because we need to grow these areas as quickly as we possibly can. So we need to try and do that. Trespasses, that was for, yeah, you guys up here. Are you seriously that beat up now? Oh my god, that's all that you've left. Holy shit. Yeah, because the Abbasid Caliphate took a ton of land from them. They're actually way stronger now. Um, this is Antioch here, now at this point in time, that now controls all this. No, that's interesting that you guys got beat up so much. Latin Empire. I know you guys are my new allies. Hey, you guys actually have Constantinople right there. I hope you guys keep doing better over there. That'd be great for us. Okay. So, we've got that. Uh, I do have some rank ups on, again, my priests here. Which I think I now have all the main things. Yeah, all the main things for you. Just get more stats, basically. So, more stats for you. And then you've already got all your stats upgraded, so that doesn't matter now. Um, but, you know, you're good there. Let's see. Yeah, Ibid Pretenders are now dead. That's great for us. Let's see. Buildings constructed. Okay, so this is level 3, so we can't upgrade that anymore. That's okay. This is also level 3. Can't upgrade that anymore as well. But yeah, we'll start getting that. Um, let's see. So you... Locality. Also, I did do the toggle to get rid of people that are dead. Um, so it's a bit easier to see things. You need to try and get a wife. You also need to try and get a wife. You're gonna be the you're the new governor of Yemen. And then um who is it? So we got the wavering loyalty. I don't know who they're talking about. Huh. I don't know who they're talking about. Yeah, seriously, I, I do not know who they're talking about. Yeah, because that's just getting rid of the... Huh, man, okay, I, I don't think that matters. So, that's fine. So, yeah, settled edicts, so we're going to put that over here, try and help grow this area sooner. And then, like, it's converting uh, none at the moment. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay. Instability is a part of this, so that's part of the reason why you guys are so upset. Military crackdown is another thing, so, like, this area is going to keep rebelling for a while. That's understandable. We need to just keep trying to convert these guys and build them up as soon as we can. You here, again, I want to have it so convert this to a city. Uh, it's meager here, so there's a little bit. It's pl it's one. It's one fertility. I'm probably just going to go with the cow shed. Go to the cow shed. And in this area, I will actually have be the order priory so we can actually get more military order unit caps. Go with that. It does have a less does have less conversion than this one. And there's no, uh, less sanitation of food. But... We need to build more of these. We, we do need to get more of these. I'm not going to really be using them for the troops, I think, all that often. Although, like, what's the population here? Oh, the population here is actually okay. There is a shrine. Ooh. Oh, this also has just, yeah, more wealth immigration. The influence. Oh, shit. Actually, no. This area, because of that, I will actually probably want to have the. I want to get more of these, but I should probably put this, because that will be the best way to counteract that fully. And then also, uh, if we just go over here, just like, like what, one, one turn to recruit those units you need? No, two. So let's get these guys now. This area should be <laughs> barely okay. And I can come back over there once we're done recruiting to keep just kind of watch over the territory. 
another marriage proposal. I'll take this, especially due to the fact that, again, I want to have it so that you guys hopefully do not want to fight me. These guys might. The Memluk Sultanate might want to try and fight me just because I'm in a, I have Mecca, so I'm going to be pissing so many people off. Also, I was looking around. I, I, okay, the guy that's having the, the loyalty issues is the current governor of Cairo. I can't find him at all um, in the family tree and the noble stuff. Like, for some reason, I can't see him there. But he has a loyalty of two. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, do a population surplus over here. Beautiful. Um, we also have something else going on. So worthy bride. Yeah, take your hand. Take her hand there. And then this one, you also take her hand as well. This area here, let's see. So, I think I'm gonna put my food. I think I'm gonna get more research right over here. So let's have you get some more research right around here. Building, let's see, so walled cities. So now you do have enough food. I'm gonna upgrade this again. That's also upgraded as well. So that'll help with the conversion. Yeah, it's gonna start going up. Regional developments is, oh my God, that's so much for that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, because that's from this, isn't it? Yeah, 20 from that. Like, this maxes out at, like, 12, so it helps. Um, but no, this area is always gonna be a problem with that. School, this has been upgraded, so then uh, you guys have plenty of food, so we can upgrade this again. And then Jerusalem, that has been upgraded. I, I'm almost tempted to switch this one in Jerusalem. <sighs> because I do need to get more... It would be nice to have this around here. This area is not as bad. Let's see. Yeah, it's not as bad. Regional developments. I, I should probably keep it, though. We'll, we'll have it so new areas. I'm going to start building those up. So for right now, we'll still keep it as what we've got right now. Let's see. You guys are dead there. The pretender's there. I think you can move out of this area now. And actually, if you go watch over a different area... No. Eh, maybe wait until it grows. Because I want to make sure the population's doing well around here. Because I could try and have it so that you guys... Well, let's see, because if you move out of here... Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's at like 80% too. It's going to start going down a little bit, but I think that should be okay. Uh, but yeah, no, let's move you down, because I, I do need to start trying to convert these areas. So let's try and have you come help out over here. You can do that. This area is so close to rebelling. Uh, but, you know, next turn you guys will be ready, so I'll be able to turn you back around, put you back in the city. And we really do just have to sit here. I hate that we have to sit here for so long to consolidate this territory. Because otherwise, it's just going to be a death sentence for us to try and push forward. So, for right now, we'll just keep trying to do that. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Do one on one. Um, keep trying to do that, because I know I want to hit these other areas. I just like the one thing I kind of dislike with Attila is it, it takes so long to expand sometimes, because you ha like. I have to consolidate. I have to consolidate what we've got. Gives us some time to kind of at least get some research done, which is great because I, I really want to upgrade our units. And if anything, honestly, while we're sitting here, uh, I should uh, remember that I can ask my friends over in the West for more money. So I think we're going to try and do that. Uh, we're going to have a rebellion around here next turn. That's kind of not surprising. But yeah, let's go back over here because I'm surprised not more of you guys like me. Let's see, because you guys actually really like me. At the moment, you guys like me the most. I find it interesting that you guys don't love me. But let's try and see if we can ask for some money. Because I'm curious if I can get a bit of extra cash from you guys. Because if I can just get a bit more money from you guys. To get you guys to support the war effort. does It's not worth it if it's that low. Um, let's see. Who's got like an actual good amount of money? You're very strong. Okay, so let's try you. Let's try Pisa. If you guys would give me 3k. Not low. I don't know if we need... Okay, I can ask for like a thousand. I can ask for like a thousand possibly. No, not even still. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. Because I don't know if we actually need to at this point in time. Like, our economy is actually doing pretty good. We actually have a lot of excess cash right now. And so, like, we're pretty doing pretty well for ourselves. Uh, I know back over here, you guys do not have enough uh, money or food to upgrade anything else. We're going to have another rebellion next turn. We have to just wait until this area grows more. Um, homes, you guys here... Yeah, you have plenty of food. We can upgrade this again. Wheat farm, same thing. That just upgraded around here. But, you know, I need to start moving my priests. I need to have you. I'll start helping out with this area first. Because this is going to start converting out. It's starting to go up for public order. Like, hey, that's going up. So that is doing better. I know this is another area we're going to need to bring my priests down to. Because at the moment, I brought him over here. And it's doing better. You're currently at, yeah, 60% right there. 
I need to wait until this builds up until I can probably really move you out of here. I could probably move you out now. Bostra is really pissed. For those differences, is minus eight right now. <sighs> I probably do want to maybe bring you back over here for a second. Bring you back over here. Help out this area because they're pretty upset. Once this area grows, I'll focus on getting something else that gives more public order in this area. Because at the moment, right now, yeah, you guys are just pretty upset there. So I'll have to do something about that. Yeah, this this Clement guy. I can't see him. Like, I do not see... Unless I'm just fucking blind. Because he's not there. Like, I can see. Right over here. Uh, he is this guy. He is right here. It's this guy right here. He's a governor. He's got two loyalty. I can see that. But I don't see him either around here or over here. So I don't know where he is to try and... I'm just going to hope he dies soon because he's 52. So he's pretty old. Because I just don't know where he is. I, for some reason, cannot see him, which is so weird. I don't know why. So we'll just have to hope that that's fine. Uh, you're slowly still building up that army around there. We did just finish up the standard mercenary pay thing, so that gives more integrity to all my armies, which is great. So now it's 22 turns, and I'm going to be able to upgrade my armies. Then I really need to start getting more of the civic stuff, because that is going to help us be able to convert our areas more and have less public order issues because of uh, the religious issues and everything like that. So once we finish this, I'm definitely going to basically be like trying to finish up like almost all of this stuff. Non-aggression pact with Castile. I will gladly accept that. Uh, you guys are doing really well for yourselves over there in the West right now. Uh, Non-aggression pact with you guys as well. Ooh, yeah, you are as well. You've actually got a lot of land here too. Yes. I almost wonder... I want to have it so we take out the rest of uh, Arabia, but also we could try and push to the west. Could try and push over there a little bit, take that territory, because they are weaker than the Abbasids right now. Cairo, uh, Mecca, it just, literally the three territories I took in Arabia are going to take some time to consolidate. Uh, Mecca is going to probably be a really big problem for a while. I actually need to make sure next time I get a governor, I need to put somebody over there. Because that area, I need to grow as quickly as possible so we can put more buildings to try and help combat the negative public order we're going to have in Mecca. Because that's just going to be an area that's going to be pissed off for a while. I also know that like, the northernmost area that we took in Arabia, that also is going to be pissed off for a bit. I know Mosul is almost happy. Mosul is almost happy, so I'm pretty happy about that. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty close. Uh, this area here, again, has pretty good amount of food. I will get circuiting the library around here, get more research rate. We do have a population surplus over here in Sinai. Um, this area... I've got one of these. We can get the sanitation one if we wanted to right now, or we can get the one that gives us more money. Public order-wise, we're doing okay around here. So I would say... Yeah, let's grab that. Let's grab the one that gives us more trade bonuses, especially since I'm going to try and get more of the Western uh, Catholic factions to start trading with us again. Kausha, that's level 3. We're not going to be able to upgrade that anymore. Um, and then I have you, which you need to get rid of. Hello! Yeah, goodbye. Let's see. Get the replenishment. And then let's go back to watch over the city. It's still going to be pissed off for a while, but it's doing better. Uh, with the military crackdown, it is doing better there. And then uh, building structure. So this is, uh, if we just upgraded that. This is level 3, so we're not going to do anything else right now in Mecca. We just need to get this slowly positive, and then we'll have more growth around the area. Next time I can get another governor, I'm putting one there. Um, that's been upgraded over here, so that gives us a little bit more trade in the area. Okay. Good, good, good. And then I should have just finished, if these crossbows just finished up here. So, we can try and... Ooh! Pavis Spearman. Why am I limited on those? I want you. Why can't I recruit you? Um, Like, what? I want those. I hate that it doesn't tell me why. Because, like, I know this, I don't have the order uh, limit. It's it's too low. That's the issue. Um, also, honestly, I should probably be better to have these as our cab for right now. I want them to be the, the hospitalers, but at the moment right now, these are the ones that we can get that are... They're, they're better. They're, they're better than these guys. So I probably want to grab you guys, because how much armor do you have? You have only 25 armor, you got 55 armor. Yeah. So let's try and have you get, let's say, like, three units of cav. 
And then I'll have it so that slowly but surely... I wish I could get some of these guys. Because, like, they're actually... Yeah, they're noticeably better. I just don't know why I can't get them. Uh, unless they're also technically considered under the... Oh, wait, no, that's at high. Wait, what? Why am I able to get to access to a high era, era unit at some point right now? Or maybe it'll become available once we get this, finally. That's interesting. Okay, but yeah, no, so keep slowly building this army up. Because I'm not opposed to the idea of us trying to push over here. We could have just this army, since we're making it already over here anyways. Um, this army, and probably this army. Like, once this area is happy around here, I can probably take you guys out. Because, like, this area here... It's got a it's got a pretty sizable garrison. Yeah, it's a pretty sizable garrison. I think I'd be safe to bring you back over west, have you help us out, and uh, I I think we should start pushing into the west a little bit. Like I think we should expand over here, because until we can cons consolidate uh, Arabia, I can't really move these armies out of here. So I think you guys should stay around here, and like when I when I get ready to push into you guys, I'm gonna have to make sure we're ready to push in here and up here at the same time. So we're gonna have to make sure we're ready for that, which I think it's gonna take us a while just because of the research. We we need the research to help with conversions and everything like that. Also, I almost forgot about this rebellion. You're pretty easy to kill, but still, I almost forgot about one of these rebellions. So get rid of you, and then you can just go back into the city. It's probably still rebellion. It's yeah, it's still going down. It doesn't have enough food to do more around here. And this is just not going to be able to go up at all until we get something over here to actually help with conversion. Which, I, again, I still, I hate the limitation on the fact that I can only have two priests right now. I wish I was not limited by that artificially. Mm, I don't like that these guys are starting to raid around here. Uh, I guess they're okay for right now. Do another population surplus. So Basra. Basra, we need something for public order. So I would say, so for right now, I've got this one. I already got the public order one around here. So we've got the sanitation and public order one. So, we will probably go with... I don't have the noble building around here, but I don't know if I need that extra food. But uh, we need just something that's pure public order, so we'll get the city square. Try and grab that. Uh, Antioch and uh, you guys are at war. That's good for us. Don't like this raiding that's going on. This is level 2 now, so we will definitely be upgrading this immediately because we need more public order and conversion in this area. You, yeah, just help convert this area faster. The sooner we get it converted, the better. So, you being over here, yeah, it's up to 6% now per turn. So, you can help convert that. Area is getting a little bit better. Again, I, I can't do anything about your loyalty. I hate this. I don't know why. Um, well, actually... Nah, he's not in here. I was going to say, we could get him killed. <laughs> we could try that. But, uh, no, I, I don't see him in there. Let's keep getting more. I need more spearmen here. Because um, I want, like... We have five crossbows, roughly. We want to have two slots for artillery. So we'll just grab up to that. So five turns, this army will be ready. Then I can, I'm going to start having you move over to the west. All these other areas. I just hate waiting for conversion. So you guys are just going to keep trying to do that. I could at least have it so... Yeah, you stay over there. Let's have this guy. Let's have you uh, go scout over here. Because I can have you go try and scout around these areas, see what they look like. And then I know this army up here. I think I should be fine to bring you out of here. Okay, look at the city. Because the city has got, let's see. Maybe minus one. Religious differences is one bit of it. Is it still going up? It is. So it is going slowly up. So I think I'd be ta it's safe to take you out of here. So you already have all your armor upgrades. So that's good. So let's just start sending you down this way as well. So by the time that you get down around over here, we should be able to have it so then we can start trying to push on into you guys. There's three cities over here. So if I had one more army that was available, you're busy. This area is still busy. You're definitely busy, and you're definitely busy. We can make another army. <laughs> I can just make another one. Uh, I actually am making like plenty of money that we could possibly could. But otherwise, just taking just two cities here, that's not the worst. We could just go with just two. And we take the third one later. But I'd love to have another army so we can take all three of those territories. Because then we're... Because I don't want uh, I don't want you guys to take that territory. I want to border this up to here. So I think we should try and grab like one more army. Either make one. Which I could start trying to do over here. Let's see. Because you guys have the... Yeah, the Templar. Yeah, you got the Templar and the Lazarus stuff. So let's make another Templar army. So... Let's go with a uh, rider here. 
Yeah, experience for CAD units. Let's go with you. So let's go with another Templar army. So we'll make... Yeah, I see the Pavis Spearmen here now. Okay, so we'll go with... At least the Templar Mounted Sergeants. Oh, no, they're about the same quality, same deal kind of thing. Actually, maybe I should switch those over. Yeah, you guys are technically better, but I want the theme. So you go that. It doesn't make you guys take a little bit longer, but that's okay. So, same deal over here. Let's try and make another Templar army over here. That way, we will have at least three armies ready to push on in over this way. And then that way, we'll be able to properly push on in. Do a little bit more damage over here. Let's see, trebuchets. And then just uh, more infantry, more spearmen. So that will be the army, so it'll take nine turns for you. This army will need to get uh, artillery pieces at some point as well, but you'll wait until uh, these guys... Actually, I could have it so you don't need to get them. Because I could have it so you go coastally. Yeah, I I'm going to have this one be a coastal army, so you just get more infantry, I'd say, for right now. Alrighty, another population surplus in Cyprus this time. Uh, you've actually almost maxed out this area. So you, you can use a slight bit more uh, for public order. Um, I would say, so we've only got one of you. We could get the public order building if we wanted to. Otherwise, um, oh, I still need to get the sugar cane. Yeah, so we do need something that gives public order for sure. So I would say, like, the next best thing that we could get for just straight public order. So we do have a religious building already in here. Let's see, food-wise, oh, we got 70 food. The sugar cane, doesn't that give us food? Yeah, uh, no, no, it does not give us food. It does not give us food. Um. I guess we got the fishing wharf. Um. <laughs> so we could go with this, but that uses up food. We could just get the building that had, like, we can just go with. Because if we go with this, that does give us more public order. Uh, this one here right here. So it does give us more public order. The adjacent doesn't affect anything at all. It does give more conversion. It does use up a little bit of food. There's also... No, we don't have those here. Because I know there's sometimes the military buildings that we can get there. But we don't have those. So it really is going to be probably... How much corruption do we have around here? We've got 17% corruption. So... Yeah, we can just go with that. Let's go with that. I, I have it so that if we upgrade these, we should have plenty of food. So if we get something that uses up food, that's fine. Last slot will then be for the sugar cane. Cash encountered. Or you guys, you're way over there. Okay, so that's not an issue. Pilgrim Center over here. You, again, I'm going to go with the one that's... So we're going to go with the Templar one to give us more money. So we'll go with that there. And then, how are you guys doing over here for conversion? So, then, like, these areas are doing better... Yeah, you got like plus 25 right now for public order, which is great. So we should be able to quickly convert this area over. Yeah, you 5.7% per turn right now. That's perfect. I'll be able to then move my pre priest out of there sooner rather than later. Defamation. Uh, let's pay him off. I'll pay him off there. This is getting a little bit happier there. Good. Yeah, it's just going to take away. Yeah, you're doing a little bit better there too. This one, I think, is still going negative. Yeah, this this one's going to be going negative until this area grows and we can actually start converting the area. Because as soon as, um, as soon as you're done here, I'm probably going to send you down that way to help convert. Let's see. Warriors of Purity. Pretty sure that was the army that was coming down this way. So that should be the King's Bodyguard one. Yes, it is. So, perfect. Yeah, so you sadly just died. Uh, Lebanon just another got her growth around over here. So, let's see. This area. These amount of public order. We've got two of these built up right now. Probably should get the public order one too. So let's grab that. We will have to get the lumber, but we can get that later. And also, yeah, these are just all adjacent provinces. So like that's, that's like, like I know usually I avoid this because of the corruption bonuses, but it also, it only gives bonuses to adjacent provinces. So it's never really that great. It gives more tax rate, but like, I, I don't know if we're ever going to really build that building. Uh, but you know, let's get the pilgrim center. We'll get the public order building there. Then that should be good. And that last slot can be for the uh, the wood resource. Still have that rating around here. I don't like that. But I can't really stop you. Um, we're going to try and get something for public order around here. This area doesn't have an insane population. It's actually going down. Why is it going down? Is it because of the rating? Interesting. 
Um, but I will go with... I'm going to grab probably this. We have, we have a decent amount of food. Oh, no, we actually don't right now. Otherwise, we can grab this because it gives us more money. It doesn't mean we use up food. Otherwise, we can just go with this. Gives us more growth. Or, and some food. Eh, it's a, never a bad thing to have extra food. So, grab that. You guys are at war there. I'm still just waiting to see that one other guy die. Because, again, I, I can't do anything about that one guy that has the la wavering loyalty. I can't do anything about him. Uh, we do not have enough food to upgrade this anymore right now. You, We do have enough food to upgrade this. You're going down. It's just religious differences. But this is still going up slowly. So you should be okay there. Uh, that we just upgraded. And then this is now level 4 over here. So our research rate is now up to 216%. Only another 17 turns until we have our armies ready that we can uh, then finally try and upgrade everybody. And once we upgrade all my armies, oh, that's going to feel great. Like, you guys right now, I know. Because that's, like, the biggest thing. Because it just adds so much more armor to all my armies. Because I don't think... No, you guys do have access to high arrow units. So I am behind again. That always happens. So we'll have to... We have to get caught up, get caught up here. We've been doing well even with our lower tier units, but once we can upgrade all these great guys, that'll be great. Let's see. So at this point in time, we did have another edict issue because the guy that died was one of my governors. So I put that over in Mecca because we need to get get growth in this area. Um, City Square has been upgraded in Cyprus. I will have it so for you guys. We're gonna go with the building that reduces description. Again, the adjacent stuff doesn't help. Um, we could have it so. Well, actually, it's a squalor. Plus two. Yeah, no, we can't upgrade that. Uh, I was going to say, maybe we get something like that. But for the most part, we're probably just going to have to go with just this. We want more public order in this area, so let's grab that. You guys, uh, we do not have... Oh, no, we actually do. We do have enough food for this upgrade, so let's grab that. Because that will also help us get more growth, because it goes from four to six. So let's go with that next. And then at the moment right now, let's see, you... You're about three turns away from being done here. And then I'll have to go up here and get the trebuchets. Uh, this army is going to be ready in six turns. This force is ready. Um, and then since you're just going with more infantry, you'll be the one that goes for here, basically. Uh, you... Oh, shit. Actually, no. Uh, I will want to actually have us a UV artillery around here, too. Because then uh, this is the army that will actually go for the coast. So you make your way up here. Kind of just chill around here for a couple turns. And then you go scout. Because we want to see where their armies are. Because I see nobody over here right now, but I want to see... Oh, damn it, you guys took that city. No! <laughs> I want that. Ah. Uh, I wonder. It'd probably be best to do it right now while it's really pissed off. I'm going to ask for trade regions. We you honest welcome. So, Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink to seal our agreement. I hate that I have to offer a city in return. Fuck. I I need I actually need that territory too. Um This is what we'll do. I'll have to trade it. I'll have to try and trade it. So I'll have to say try and take this territory, trade it for this one. I need to get over here quickly and take these territories. Shit. Okay, so Let's do this. So, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna switch the order of while you guys are recruiting. So that way these guys will be faster. A little bit. And then I'll have you grab your calf here. Because basically what I'll do is I'll have you finish your stuff up here. You'll grab the artillery pieces from this army. Um, I'm probably just gonna immediately go over here as soon as I can. Because I want to hit this territory... Start consolidating, take this territory before they go there, and then have it so I try and hit this city, and I'll try and trade it for this one. Because this is a territory I actually need for my victory conditions. So I can't let them control that. These guys are moving up. Uh I need to do the I need to attack now. Because otherwise you guys are gonna take that city. So I'm going to attack you guys. Yeah, half spids, yeah, you guys can declare war on me, that's fine. Um, again, I just want to make sure that you guys don't take these territories. This I'm going to probably want to fight, so let's continue that blockade for just a second. You go over here. Is that still controlled by you guys? 
I need to move out of there, uh, out of here as soon as I possibly can. You're starting to recruit trebuchets now, so basically I can have it so like once you're done in two turns, you make your way up here, you'll grab the trebuchets the turn after, you'll make your way down over here, and then I'll have to have it so that somebody pushes forward and try- are you guys at war with each other? No. So they're not at war with each other, so that will be perfect. I will be able to get over there, take that territory, and we'll trade it to them to be able to get Barca. So that should work out perfectly. I just need to take this city. I say we fight this ourselves just to minimize our casualties. That way, I can try and have it so we'll move out of here sooner. Because I'll probably have it so that Trebuchet army, or that's the Temple army, the second Temple army I'm making, I'll have them watch over this territory. This army can then be the one that sails forward, or we can just switch it. I can have the, the Temple army be the one that pushes forward over to the west. Either way, I just need somebody to go that way take that territory before these guys decide to start fighting each other because otherwise uh, I need that territory and it's either I'd have to like make them a military ally or I'd have to attack them at some point and I prefer to not fight them please I prefer to not piss off other Catholic factions when I've already pissed off every single Muslim faction by me taking Mecca so let's let's not do that please let's not do that so what we're gonna have to do here is I will be let's see I think we can I'll probably disembark over here I'd say Probably disembark over here. Uh, they only have three units of skirmishers, a bunch of spearmen. And so we should be able to kind of push my way into the city. Should be able to minimize our casualties for the most part, I hope. So, weather conditions are fine. We'll take those. Um, Cav, I'm going to back you guys up. You're a bit too close to the walls there. Then, I'll have all my ships. Let's see, so... There's three slots there. Or there are... There's three slots on either side. Uh, it's about the same. Let's see. It's pretty similar. This is a tighter area. There is... Actually, actually, there's a point right here I can tap sure to get rid of their stuff. Yeah, because there's a tower either way on each side, so we'll go here. So, let's go here. Start the battle. Yeah, only three of you guys can disembark at a time. So, start making... Actually, I should probably have this over and have anybody disembark first. It should be the swordsman. So, you guys just be the ones to disembark. Crossbows, basically try and get set up over here. And over here. So, you guys can open fire into the enemy army. Um, you guys are in range, so you could actually try and get into position to shoot us. I'm going to hope you don't. But I'll have my spearmen just start getting ready. Start pushing up this way. And then, ideally, we should... Hopefully, we won't have too much resistance in this area. Because as long as we can push on in here, take this little section. Again, I'm just hoping these archers, because they only have three archers. So yeah, like one is... Okay, I can see two of them there. I do not know where their third archer is. Alright, one guy is down on the grounds. Starting down in melee with them here, my dudes. So if you guys can start taking out this spearman here. Um, and then I could have sworn... So they haven't brought their archers over this way. Okay, so it's just the towers that are opening fire on us. My crossbows here... Uh, you guys actually don't have enough range where you're at right now. Okay, so it's kind of a problem, but that's okay. This guy's about to disembark here. He's like, you guys are winning this fight. That would actually explain why my Lazarus troops actually did so bad last time. Is they were, uh, I didn't pay attention to the fact that they were, those are possibly high era units. So, a lot more factions are starting to get to high era units now. So we'll be, we're just about to catch up with everybody. So now, yeah, you guys even still are doing well there. Crossbows, keep doing your thing. And then I'll have it so, as soon as we can, spearmen, so as soon as they're out of the way, start trying to disembark and drop off some more troops. You guys are winning on your own right now, as you are, but I'd like to get more guys down just so we can maybe try and like, get rid of this tower here. Um, we need to have it so that we just keep pushing towards the city center. Because number-wise, uh, I've only lost like seven guys, so this is off to a great start. Okay, some of my spearmen are now disembarking. I'm going to have you guys uh, go capture this point so they have less morale. So you can start trying to capture that. Swordsmen are trying to finish off the rest of these guys here. And then I'll probably at least have you take this tower, at least, just so it stops firing on us. So at least get rid of these spearmen right here. Then destroy the tower. And then I'll try and have it so that like once this point's captured, I'm going to keep trying to drop off more men over here. And then we'll start going towards the sea, essentially. Uh, swordsmen, get on in here. Capture this point. Get rid of this tower. Get it at least to stop firing. We could actually... Oh, no, they're... Oh, okay, all their archers are up here. I could try and go capture the, uh, this spot. One, two. 
I might just ignore it just so we can go towards the city center. Because at the moment right now, yeah, you guys are about to capture that point. Tower's destroyed. Yeah, let's just try and keep making my way slowly more towards the city center. You two. And obviously you guys make your way around. What are you doing? Oh, there's a barricade here. That's why. Okay, break down the barricade. I'll keep dropping off more men around here. And then slowly but surely, we will be able to make my way over and hopefully just take out the general's bodyguard, take the city center, and seize ours. All right, we're taking some shots. I'm starting to try and push on into position to start getting in melee with them. But yeah, you guys kind of walk up in your spear wall formation so that way you can take some damage. And now we get in melee with this guy. And you guys can start running out of the, out of your position there. Now just go surround him. And as long as we, we're already starting to capture the point, they've got their forces over here, but I think we might just be able to fully ignore them. Because, like, I've lost... I've lost about 100 guys, but that's not too bad. We've got all of these guys over here. More men... Oh, the victory point's now ours. My spearmen are making their way over, so we can get more of you to help out against the general's bodyguard, who is slowly dying. He's slowly dying now, and now that we're not in range of him just continuing to try and fire into us, he should die, and hopefully we just minimize casualties here. Yeah, because he's now dead. So now what we're going to do is hopefully you guys just don't make your way over here. And then I am just going to chill here. I do try and see if we can fully kill him off. Because if we can have it so he's fully dead and he doesn't come back, that'd be great. There we go. Okay. So now we've got this city. Now it's just the settlement to the southwest I'm worried about. I'm hoping uh, these guys do not keep pushing into... Or the... Uh, what was that? Because it wasn't, it wasn't uh, Castile... It was Nerevar. Nerevar was the one that was pushing in. Hopefully they don't go for the other city. And I'm going to be able to beat them to it. Also, I could just bring this army over that way if I need to. Because if we make my way over there, I think we could get there before them, possibly. Yeah, because occupy the territory. Because I always have one of these guys watch over the city instead. Um, start repairing stuff. Let's see. So this. Yep, we're going to keep. This will keep. Uh, well, actually, no, this one. Let's demolish this one. Demolish this one so we can turn that into something that gives religion. So, do that, because at the moment right now, I think they have an army in there. I think they do. Okay. Well, for the most part right now, we're basically waiting on more troops. Uh, succession. Yeah, you guys just don't like this. Yeah, turn of the, uh, the century. Uh, Yemen about to have another rebellion over here. No shit. Yeah, this area is going to be really pissed off until we can finally start converting that, which, at the moment, how are you guys doing up here? Let's see, this area is at 46%. So 4 I think I'm just going to move this priest. I think I'm just going to move you now. Because this area has to be converted. This one is the only one that's not being converted at all. Mecca is being converted a little bit. You're being converted a little bit, even without us here. It's still going up. Oh, actually, it's now going down. Uh, fuck. Never mind. Uh, I probably should have kept you there, but it's probably fine. Because this is going to help out. That will help out around there a little bit. He's really pissed off around here. I'm going to grab another small little army around here. Just so that way I can have somebody in the city. Um, let's just grab... This will be another like mixed army. Um, so we'll just grab... They don't have a ton. Let's grab some of you guys. So we'll grab some crossbows around here. And I'll grab some... Maybe just some... I don't know what we're going to grab here. Just just grab the crossbows for right now, because they are currently, at the moment, raiding the area. We don't have a great way to stop that. Um, let's see, you're level 2 there. I should be able to upgrade that to get a little get a bit more. Yep, so I can. Get more money. And then this is level 1. This one we want to get the public order one. Grab that. Because as long as I have one of those in every region, that's going to mean, like, uh, all my areas have so much more public order, which is great for us. Yeah, that's, you need to keep trying to get those armies ready over there. I'm, I'm just hoping that, again, that you guys... Our army's not great. I'm going to hope... Okay, if you guys make your way over there, I'm going to hope there's an army that you guys go up against and you get your ass kicked. Now the question is, did they move over this way? No, they went back towards their city over there. Okay, so that gives me time. They don't have another army over here. Okay, so... Let's see. I would take attrition making my way over here. But if I go to about here... I get f practically fully replenished. So we go here. Go into Fortify Stance. Yeah, we're practically full health. This area here... Ah, she's a good garrison. 
Uh, but you know, let's just pull out for right now. Uh, this army here is ready next turn. All of you go over here. Should be good enough. Uh, again, you upgrade this. Military port. Yeah, I'm going to want to convert that. I would say, so this area, it's poor food quality. Let's have you grab the fishing wharf. This, I want to have be... I can't actually upgrade it to what I want it to be right now. Because it would be the university. Let's go with that. Go with that, and then we need something for conversion. Which... Uh, yeah. No. I, yeah, get the public order thing. Get the public order stuff. Serbia's dead. Serbia's dead. Um, yeah, that was demolished there. So this is level 3. We can't upgrade that any higher right now, but that hopefully helps with the conversion again. Yep, it's now going back up again. I know I was going down for some reason. Um, but you know, you're still good there. This is level 2. They've stopped, they've stopped rating, which is good. Let's upgrade that again. It's level 3, so we can't upgrade that anymore. But that's good for you guys. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just going to try and rush over there. If I... That's just... Yeah, over there. If we can hit this army next turn... Uh, that's not crazy. Yeah, that's not too crazy in there. So we could probably win that fight. Especially since we're so close to upgrading our units. Oh, I want to be able to upgrade you guys. Yeah, because otherwise, like, this army here could make their way over there to help you. But I don't think we're going to. Because uh, I want you to get some uh, artillery pieces before you make your way forward. Um, and then what's this other notification? Just more people dead. Sadly not the person I want to die yet. Did I lose more of my... No, nope, I did not lose more of my governors at the moment, though, at least. And then I do need to make sure you still need to try and seek a wife. And then that's about it for now. Oh, don't want to forget you. Yep. <laughs> this guy again. That's fine. Just get rid of him. There we go. So, the rebellion crushed once more. And the, 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 the priest is still making his way down here. It's just, until we convert this area, it's just always going to keep happening. So, you will be here in about another three turns, and then you'll be able to start converting this area. Alrighty. Now, the question is, so they've got an army away over there. They did pull away. Um, let's see. I have enough movement. I think they have enough movement they could get. Actually, they can't get back over here. So, I can start sieging that area. Oh, we got so the Worthy Bride. Um, no. <laughs> Not taking that. So let's go over here. We should be okay. We're a little we're gonna be a little beat up because of attrition. But we can start sieging this area. So let's start sieging the area here. And then at the moment at least, I actually might bring you guys over this way. You don't have your artillery yet. You'd be finishing it up in next turn next turn. Um, I can at least go like up here. So I go like right here. Go right there. We can try and grab the trebuchets from you guys next turn. You can keep pushing forward. And then I will hopefully be able to take this without too many concerns. It's a lot of spearmen. Taking a little bit of damage because of the attrition. But I think we should be okay. Is there anybody else around here? There is this tiny little army. If you decide to try and attack us. Lure them out. We might be able to still win that. Let's see. So you guys. Let's see. How much would you have right now? So you have plenty of food. I don't think I need to upgrade this right now. I think you're good. I will upgrade this though. Because you guys do have enough food for that. So grab that. Popcorn is still going down a little bit. But that's okay. We should be okay. I just need to have you wait until you can actually get a, another building over there. That's going to get us some more public order. Still have that rating. Yeah, that, that's part of the reason why. Like over here, they've got just the rating still. Like I know this army around here, you grabbing those guys did help out a little bit. I'll have you grab uh, a couple units possibly. Like let's grab like you and you. That way we've got a little bit more there to kind of help out over with this city. Then back down here. You're almost here. Almost here. I just need to get some conversion in these damn areas. Like, Mecca's doing better. Mecca's doing better. It's now 15% for us, but I need to get some, like, proper good conversion in there. So as soon as we start growing those areas, I need to start putting more of my... Um, my buildings in here that uh, the military ones start getting some more passive income, uh, passive conversion, and also to get more public order and more sanitation in these areas. Okay, so they are going to sell that with this little army. So the reinforcements are all infantry. They should be on the western side of the map. What's the terrain look like? Because that's mainly all infantry over there. If I have it so that I go. Yeah, if I kind of like set up over here, because I could try and like camp them off the side of the map. But also, I'm kind of tempted 
See, these are all... Wait, late? Are you guys already up that high in your research? What the fuck? Oh god, I didn't realize that. Yeah, high, late... Oh my god, that's why I hate the... We should be fine, I think. I think we should be able to do this. If not, we'll just pull back and we'll come back after we get some reinforcements. This is why I hate the research-based stuff. But like, I... I've been trying to have it's like, hey, I've been increasing my research rate as much as I possibly can, but the AI just, like, beat me to it because they just get all these passive buffs. I'm like, well, okay, I feel like shit now. But I, I think we're going to go hide up over back around here. They're the ones attacking me. The infantry, if I if have them walk all the way across this way, that should tire them out quite nicely. And then, as long as we can kind of hold them at bay, slaughter their uh, cab units... If we can get the cav advantage, I can win this fight pretty easily. That's my hope. But I, I really need to keep spamming out my recruitments. Because it's like, I hate how long it takes to upgrade my units in this mod. It's it's That's like the one downside. But that's just Attila. That's Attila. That's why. But no, I think if we hide up here, because then that means my left side, the left flank of my army will be uh, secured against what well, looks like a rock formation. Let's see. So... Uh, oh, well, it's a slight little hill mountain thing. But, you know, if I'm, yeah, if I'm right here, because I can't place my units on top of this thing. Yeah, so I can get set up here. That way, we'll at least have my left flank will be nice and secure. We can get all of my crossbows over here. Then my cavalry. So get you guys all to group up. And then all of you should be on your shield walls. Do that. And my cav all on the right side. And then basically, we wait for them to come to us. Because my left flank is secure, it's hard for them to try and go over here. Enemy reinforcements should be coming from the west here, yes. They're like all the way over here, so they have to tire themselves out. And I'm gonna hope... I could maybe go on the offensive, I could try and harass them a little bit while they're making their way over here. But I think... And also, what's the main difference if you guys are late air units? Your armor's just pretty high. Yeah, that's the thing. Your spearmen are actually... We got some pretty good armor. Some of them do. So, yeah, some of them don't have a ton of armor. Yeah, that's the that's the main thing you usually get from that. So I think we're still okay. Just some of their like elite ones have a pretty good amount of armor. But now we're yeah, just gonna wait for them to come to us. If they make their way over here, and we can take out all the cab units. Because the main thing is I'm hoping that they're gonna tire themselves out, especially with this weather. Alright, so here they come. So, crossbows, yeah, do some good damage, soften these guys up before they even get to my spearmen. So you guys can hold them at bay, that'd be pretty nice. Also, some of these guys are fucking 15th century units, this is so fucking weird. So, for right now, cab, get ready, because I'm going to have you guys start trying to charge into some of these skirmishers. Yeah, that cab unit got destroyed there, that's beautiful. Horse archers, we're not going to really try and chase, we need to get them just close enough to be shot at, basically. Uh, although, I think I can have it so, like, you guys start moving up a little bit so that way we can kind of get in range to try and hit them I'll wait until a little closer so wait until these spearmen are passed then we start charging into the archers although I think this one we can hit right now since have the Templars go hit them immediately you guys kind of group up Cavs coming on over this way yeah, hold off hold off we don't want to be too aggressive because number wise, we're off to a good start. One cab unit has been taken out quite nicely. I have it so that we are on the defensive here. Let's see, you guys. Try and angle this way to kind of help out. So I really want to make sure you're helping out with these uh, these uh, cab units here. Because we have it so that we're going to charge on in. Try and counter charge. So counter charge in there. Crossbows start trying to help out. You have the just morale ability, so let's kind of boost this area around here. So you guys try and do that. So if we win the cab fight, we win the fight pretty much in general, because then we can absolutely just overwhelm their archers. And you guys are trying to run away. Kind of let them. So pull back. Don't be too aggressive. Yeah, spearmen. I'm a little concerned about a little bit there, but you guys should be okay. So let's then counter charge back in here again. So you guys go there, there, and there. These crossbows, you guys can adjust back to where you were. Because basically what we'll do is get rid of these guys. 
I want to hit these archers next, because we can ignore the, inf the spearmen for a little bit. Well, my crossbows kind of try and do their thing, so like, once this guy shatters, let's try and get you guys to pull back. Come on, shatter him. There we go. So kind of pull back this way. Let's see. Yeah, you kind of get in there a little bit more. I have it so that you guys pull back for right now. Yeah, lure them towards our crossbows. Here. I don't like those horse archers, though. I don't want to be near these spearmen at all. Come on, guys. Get back. Get back. I don't like these spearmen chasing me. So I want to try and go hit those archers. Yeah, okay, I finally broke. Okay, so now... Let's have it so... You guys... Specific target on uh, these horse archers. Yeah, you. Kind of start helping flank around here. Same with you. I would say for right now, yeah, keep trying to focus on the horse archers with my skirmishers. And then let's now start trying to hit. So if the horse archers want to get in melee with us, I'll fight them. But if they just want to try and shoot us and run away, I, there's no reason for me to try and go after them. So you try and hit this guy. Uh, you can almost hit him, so let's try and move over to the side a little bit too. Yeah, start trying to go for these archers. Horse archers, we're just not going to be able to really do much against until we can get them to stop uh, running away from us. So focus on the archers for right now. Focus on them. My infantry is starting to kind of win around here. Yeah, like we're starting to break these guys. Get these horse archers to also help out over here. Actually, against these horse archers, I mean. Yeah, focus on this Jones bodyguard. I am doing some good damage here. Yeah, just keep running down. Okay, because we can get in melee with this guy, I'm going to fight him. Because in melee, we should win against you. Breaking. That's what I want to see. It's going to start to take some damage. Okay, you're trying to run away from us. Let's ignore those archers for right now. Yeah, keep trying to charge into these guys. Okay, so that way, if we can push them closer to my guys, then we'll have a better chance of killing them with my art, my crossbows. Yeah, you guys are taking some good damage. All of you switch your attention to this guy now. Because this means these guys are almost dead. Number-wise, let's see. We do outnumber them at the moment right now. This guy is almost out of the picture. He's at 26. All their infantry is shattered here. That's beautiful. So start trying to run them down. And now I'll ask you how this so some of you guys go after them in melee here. So just a couple of you. Not all of you, but just a couple of you go over here. Crossbows. Yeah, try and focus on this guy. Focus on him. I want to get out of here, because I do not want to fight you while you have those spearmen there. General's bodyguard, I need you to make sure you stay alive. Okay, let's pull away from these spears. Enemy general's dead, so it's probably you. So let's try and get formed up over here. Ignore those crossbows. Let's see, casually sustained. Died. It's, yeah, it's hard to tell which one's which. Okay, you guys come over here. Spearmen want to keep chasing us. Okay, let's have you guys. You guys switch over here. All these spearmen, all these infantry units. You guys come back down this way. Crossbows. Do not adjust. You guys just keep firing into people. Probably try and have it so for right now. Focus on these spearmen. Because we're going to move my infantry back down around. Cav, go after these archers. We, we've pretty much won at this point. It's just now trying to see, can I run down the rest of these infantry units, and then also just make sure my generals die. See, so yeah, I crossbows, just try and do what you can. Yeah, those guys shattered there. Try and run them down a little bit. A oh, spearman took a bit of a hit. But yeah, you guys keep firing there. I'm just hoping we don't lose all of our units and we get to have them survive. Come on, crossbows, do your thing. Yeah, you focus on these guys. Try and run over here. Are struggling a little bit around here, but I think, yeah, at this point in time, they've now lost. So now I'm gonna try and run them down with my units because if I can get a little bit more, I can guarantee some of these units actually fully die. So let's try and do that. Okay, there we go. So now, let's see. So I only lost about 450 guys, most of that damage was on to just a couple of my units. They only have like four or five hundred guys left. 
So we should be able to hopefully just kind of walk on into this city. That's my hope. I'm a little worried about some of my units being a bit too beat up. But I think it should be okay. It depends on how many guys actually fully died. That entire army is almost completely destroyed. We might be able to just like walk into the city. Let's see. So that, that entire army is destroyed. This one... There's a couple guys remaining. I will grab the replenishment. That'll help us out a little bit there. And you guys did take Barca back. So I actually don't have to trade the units back at all. So that's great. So over here, let's see. Oh, we should be okay. Please don't kill those units. Thank you. Okay, so now we can occupy this area. You'll be chilling around here now for a bit. Oh, don't demolish that right now. Let's see. So, food area, food in this area is pretty bad. So, um, actually, this one I don't think we're gonna want. You know, this one I think we want to demolish. This will keep. This will keep. This, um, I have to demolish it down at least one level because I can't do level four stuff right now. So demolish it down at least one. So I think that's good for you guys. And then, so yeah, you guys are a little upset. So for right now, basically, yeah, grab those artillery pieces. Make your way over here. You'll watch over the city for right now, at least. So you'll be there. Uh, get the stuff that gives the public order for right now. You then just need a couple more turns. And then your army will be ready. So you just need to get a couple more trebuchets. Four turns, you'll be ready. And then, ideally, since, yeah, you guys push them back, basically, I will just gather my forces together, and we'll go try and hit them at the same time. And then I, I don't need to even fight these guys now. I don't need to fight you guys at all, because this is all the territory I want over here. So now we just have to consolidate these territories. I did get another population surplus, so in Cairo. Ooh, let's see. Cairo... I've only got one of these right now. You do need. You already have your glass furnace. Public order is okay. Um, and then, like, once I can, like this, these two buildings give us more public order. Once I can upgrade them, this will also give me more public order when I can upgrade this. Um, kind of want more money. Kind of want more money. I might just grab this. That way, we can have like literally every unit type around here is recruitable. The last one I might actually have just be the armory, because the armory would give us... Let's see. It does reduce the recruitment cost in the area, which would be pretty nice. And more ammunition for them. Yeah, this is supposed to be a heavily military area. Getting a blacksmith upgrade would be nice. Yeah, let's get that first. Let's get the blacksmith upgrade first. Get that. We just won't be able to get artillery in this area, basically. That's that's the only major issue, for the most part. But we'll at least be able to have it so we can get every other major upgrade for my units um, by putting the blacksmith in that area, too. Because getting the more ammunition just from recruiting around there is pretty nice. Let's see, that's level 1, and then we already started upgrading that. This is level 2. So you guys, yeah, you have plenty of food. I can upgrade that again. Again, just keeps giving more public order to all the areas around it, which I fucking love. Uh, you're about to have rebellion, but now that we put that army in there, you'll be okay. Okay. Then, uh, my priest, how close are you? Oh, you're almost there, my man. Next turn. Next turn you can get over here. Then we can start converting this area, finally. So that'll start doing something. Because, yeah, like, Mecca's getting better. I just need to get more, uh, recruitment slot or building slots around here. Same thing with you. The that's the main thing we need right now. Yeah, because you guys are currently just chilling over here. Finally have a population surplus in Yemen, so I can do something now. So we can have you. Um, let's just get the, the chapel first. Get that first. And then this area... Eh, it's not the best population. I'm going to have it so you get the military order one over here, because there's not a ever-present uh, insane amount of... Yeah, it's five. So... We'll have it so you'll start trying to grab that. Start getting some conversion now with my priest now being over here. So this area should now finally start getting happier. Finally. 8% in one turn. Yes, please. So yeah, do that. Faction countered. Kingdom of Alana. Yep, yep. Let's see. You guys are dead now. Oh, shit. Um, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at Antioch go. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you guys. 
I'm so proud of you, Antioch. You look at you. You're doing better. You've you're got you've got border gore, but you've expanded. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so happy you're actually doing something on your own. Let's see. So this has been upgraded to level three. We can't upgrade it any higher. That we demolished because again, I don't think we can actually convert that in anything. No, we could. We could. Um, let's see. So this needs to be converted to Metropolis again. So again, this area has like no fertility. So we're gonna want a cow shed here. You, I will have this be again. You have the public order one first. I might actually want to demolish. Let's see the other food. Let's see, we're at minus twenty food right now. Ouch. Uh, look at this for some more food. I might need to demolish this. Because we can get some more food. Main thing we'd grab would be a goat pen. Because the goat pen gives us the best thing uh, for food outside of that. I also need more conversion though too. So we get food that way. So let's do this. I'm going to demolish you. Demolish you. Yes. Because I can have this be... We'll be going with the religious building that gives us food and wine. In one of these. Maybe just do that one. I think I'll have this be the goat pen. It just doesn't us that much money. I'm just going to demolish it. I think we should be okay. Um, that's demolishing. Again, climate. I can't do anything with you, man. Uh, food storage around here. Yeah, we're going to need to try and fix that. So this army's ready. You're almost away. Why did I recruit you? Oh, yeah, over here. I forgot I was recruiting the other guys over there. Um, so, yeah, because you guys are watching over there. The Templar army's almost ready. 11 turns until we finish this up, and then we can upgrade our units. I don't know if that's going to happen this video. It might. We'll have to see about that. Um, for right now, though, at least, I think that's... Yeah, that's all for you guys. Because basically, what we're trying to do right now is this area. Trying to convert you a little bit. This army's almost ready. I can probably send... Yeah, like, you stay there for right now. This area is already starting to convert a little bit more, so we might be able to move out of here sooner. Then we could have it, so basically, like, maybe you two just push over here quickly, kill this area, and then you'll come back and have it so we can have one person watch over this area. I should probably just have this, try and get it a little bit happier before we move. Does it make me feel like, though, I'm going to have to start figuring out what campaign we're going to be doing after this one soon, I think. I think we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to start considering that, uh, just because... Um, the expansion in the east, with at least with Antioch. Antioch is expanding over there rather nicely. So we might want to have it so that we start figuring out what we're going to do. Well, well, like I already, yeah, after that. Because I can know, like, hey, once I take this territory, um, I have no more uh, land to expand to the west. That's fine. We don't need to. Um, we just need to then go to the east. I have to finish taking the rest of you guys. I have to finish taking Arabia. And then basically, I have to help secure the rest of this with Antioch. And then... We then wait until we can destroy the Timurden invasion, which will happen eventually. Yeah, so I need to keep demolishing this stuff. Keep demolishing that stuff there. Noble birth. I'm so man, sorry, man, that you're flaccid now. I'm so sorry. Let's see. So this army here, you'll be ready in two turns. So basically, I'll have this. Yeah, you kind of sit around here for two turns. That will kind of help out with um, this area so it's a little bit happier. Because conversion-wise, it is going up a little bit. Instability will keep going down. And then we can try and have it so that like, both these armies blitz this territory down. Then we'll have one go back around here so we can prevent any sort of rebellions. That's my hope, at least. Because, I, again, I still... Yeah, I... Oh, I actually lost one of my priests is dead. Um, actually, then. So if that's the case, I will get a new agent here. Uh, I'm just going doesn't matter whoever it is, just whoever's youngest. I'll have you make your way over here, and you can help start converting that area. Let's see. Some trade! Gladly, guys. I'll gladly accept some trade with you. Because I'm never going to be going up that far to the north, so I don't think I'm ever going to be fighting you guys. Oh, yes, please walk away from that city. Please walk away from that city. It'll make it so much easier to take you guys out. Another population surplus over here. Um, let's see. So you guys have plenty of food. I'm probably going to get more research rate, basically. So let's go with that. Um, trade agreement there. Let's see. So this is now level 4 over here. Beautiful. So that's been now converted. And then, yeah, do upgrade this to level 3. You are now level 3 here, too. I do not have, a, I do not have the research, so we can upgrade that again. But yeah, you guys here. Keep demolishing those. And then, basically, this army is just about ready. I... I'll do 
this. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, you're gonna have a rebellion there. <laughs> Shit. Do this. You go over here. And then I'll just have somebody else randomly get you your last trebuchet. Because if you move now, uh, if there was a rebellion, they would be able to just walk on it immediately. Clement, just please die, man. I can't do anything about this. I'd give you a bribe if I could, but I cannot give you a bribe. Let's see, another marriage proposal. I'm going to feel bad when I have to actually start attacking you guys. Because right now, I've been leaving you guys alive, but I do want that territory, because I don't want border gore. So at some point in time, I'll be trying to see if I can take that territory from you guys. I'm debating if I want to have it so that'll be... When we... Ah, oh, fuck you. Um, when we're making our way back to the east, like after we get done consolidating these territories. Or when do we do that? I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, no, they're still a little pissed off, but no, we should be fine now. Just to, like you can just walk on in. There's no other army here. You're free. You, oh my god, that's nothing. Why is it even this high? You have 52 guys. I swear to God, if I lose a single unit. Okay, so occupy this territory. So now we've got this. We need to repair everything. Again, we can't convert up to level four, so we'll have to just demolish that. You should be fine. Just auto resolve these guys to death. And then, I lost one of my swordsmen, that's fine. I'll have to retrain him. But for right now, we've got it. So, at this point in time, I now have all the territory I want around here. Uh, Palestine's got another population surplus. I will have you guys get... Let's see. I think... Research. Because, <laughs> again, once I finally start having the extra money and food to start getting research stuff, we start spamming it out. Another Pope. Um, let's see, so this is level 3. That's fine. Oh man, we are so negative food. Fuck. I need, more. I need food in this area. Uh, yeah, next time we can grow that, I need food. Let's see, so you. Yeah, you start finally getting us the military order priority. So you grab that. Now that we can actually start boosting those up there a little bit more. And then that's level 3. We can't upgrade that anymore for right now. But... Let's see, is there anything else? Also, I do need to try and get probably... I keep getting unlucky. Yeah, you need to try and find a wife. I do have you, but I can't have you marry anybody. I was going to say, I can maybe try and have you marry someone that has a lot of influence right now, but I can't do that with you at the moment, sadly. Um, do I want to give any of these guys rank ups? Let's see, so you... Yeah, we can try and have you be the one that gets... Let's see, so it'd be... Yeah, this one. Try and give you that rank. You... Hey, fuck it. Go there. You go there. And then you're another military one. So let's have you all shift up one, at least. Let's try and do that. Uh, these guys just don't know when to quit. Okay, so let's see. So I can finish you guys off. I'm down. Oh, let's see. That's probably obstruction. Um, let's decree. Let's see. Off secured. Rejection. And bounce power changed. So we're going to want to try and get some more support if we can. Let's try and remember to do that with my wife right now. But now, yeah, you guys are just going to run. Let's just finish them off now. Because you, I think this might be your only army left, actually. Fuck you. Okay, so we'll have to... We just need to do some more retraining after this. Because at the moment, I can't recruit those guys around here until this stuff actually converts. Um, but at the moment right now, let's see, I know you... Again, I want to get more of the military forts. Because I want to have... we So we increase the cap now. So we're going to grab you that. You... Uh, the food around here is actually... Yeah, it's average. So we can definitely have you get the wheat farm. This, again, make a walled city. And then this is a fishing wharf, so that's fine to keep as it is. But no, at this point in time now... And I think they have, like, they have one little army. I can probably try and tell you guys to fuck off and let's see, do you want a piece? Yeah, I, I don't need to fight you. Just give me all your money. Let's see, can I get 3k out of you? I cannot. I can maybe get... 18, yeah, I can get 1800. So there we go. Peace with you guys. Uh, are your friends still alive? No, they're dead. It looks like it, at least. Was that their last faction army that they had? Let's see, I think it was. Yep, faction destroyed. Mamluk Sultanate is now out of the way. Now we are the only ones controlling this stuff. So imminent rebellion, let's see. So yep, right here, no shit. And then right here, yep, no shit. Okay, so we're going to have to be dealing with that. So now... Besides just trying to consolidate uh, Arabia, which is doing better. 
Uh, Mecca's doing a lot better. There's still an extremely high population of, or conversion percent, uh, percent of uh, Sunni Islam, so we need to still slowly start trying to get rid of that. But that's going to take a while until we can get more buildings up there. This area is doing way better, so that's going to be uh, something. And then I think you guys are doing pretty good over here too. This area finally grew. Yeah, we actually did get a, quite a few public uh, things that were growing there. And then yeah, you need to yeah, demolish that down, convert that over there. Building-wise, let's see. So yeah, this is level 3. I can't upgrade that. This, uh, again, research. And then we've got that level two. Uh, I'll soon, six turns. So next video, we get to upgrade our, our military units. Um, then I'm going to really focus on our stuff over here first. I want to finish off the civic side, and then we'll focus on the military side again. Because um, we'll just keep trying to get more research rate in the meantime. Uh, and then let's see what else. Let's see, So you've got a population surplus over here as well. This area, I do not have a religious building, so let's grab that. You also have population surplus over here. Um, you need something that gives it public order. I would say... Probably get the building that gives... So it could get... Let's see, I already have the one that does public order here. Yep. Yeah, let's get this for now. Get that for now, and then you had something. This area here, I need to get you. Because then that will help us get more... Oh, I need more food, too. So actually... We will instead go with the noble building first. And then I think for right now, uh, I will say we're done for today. Pretty good amount of damn, uh, pretty good amount of progress. Um, I do think we're going to have to start figuring out who we're going to be playing next after this campaign. Um, because at this point in time, we might push in here next video. Or over here. These guys all absolutely fucking hate me. I know I need to push on over here at some point anyways. Antioch. Lost Antioch to the Latin Empire. What the fuck, guys? I might have to help you. Um, I'm going to hope you guys are fine there, but I think for now I'll be done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. If that's something in general, but it's Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.